I got the bean. What was it like the, the first time you connected with Cove? When, when you connect with somebody that's at your idol, right, and you have a chance to talk to them, and you, you kind of want to remain a little bit chill. Like, it's not like I was like five, yeah. you know, where I could just like <laughs> geek out or something, but um, you still want to just be authentic too. Like I told him, like, yo, you're, you're my favorite player. And he's a killer, that's great. What was his response? It was just like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, all right, cool. Welcome to Card Cloud, where we cover all things trading cards with your favorite athletes, artists, collectors, shops, and celebrities. I'm your host, DJ Ski. Today, we're breaking cards with one of the most dynamic and exciting point guards in pro basketball, Spencer Dinwiddie. You'll never guess what's waiting for us in the eBay safe. This is Card Cloud. Welcome into Card Cloud. I'm your host, DJ Ski, coming to you live from Hollywood, California, right above my shop, Cards and Coffee. We have a very special guest, Spencer Dinwiddie's in the building. What's up, sir? What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome, I guess, home from LA originally. <laughs> yes. So I'm excited because it's probably going to be the most normal season out of the past <laughs> two yeah. this year in terms of scheduling and stuff. How are you feeling going into this season? Excited. I mean, obviously, everybody knows um, I, I was hurt last year. I got a chance to catch a couple of playoff games, so feeling the energy of the fans being back and everything. In that moment, it was like, hey, I, I need to play, like right now. How was it dealing with your, your rehab? The, the greatest thing for me was I had prior context. The knee injury I had in college uh, eight years ago was, was far worse than the one I had this past season. And so, you know, I, I attacked uh, my rehab with that mentality, like, hey, if I came back quickly from something that was way worse, why would I not do well with something that, that's easier? Yeah, man, I'm so excited to see you back out there, especially in person and not just watching on TV. <laughs> Thank you, man, I appreciate it. So let's get right into it. What are your first memory of collecting cards? Did you collect cards as a kid? Yes, so I was I was also kind of a nerd, so some of the cards I collected were actually Pokemon cards. Oh, you were like, into all the Pokemon I was, in, I was in that too, but my favorite basketball card would definitely have to be a Kobe Bryant card that I have. So Kobe was the, the your idol icon For growing sure. up. I mean, obviously a Lakers fan to start, Magic Johnson as well, um, but, but Kobe, the guy for me. I want to pull out a, a card to show you to kick this off. Somebody you might know. Rookie card. There's a couple variations. Slim Reaper. There we go. In my opinion, best versatile scorer of all time. If we're talking about three to four level scoring, you know, mid-range getting to the basket, shooting threes, all that stuff, like best score of all time. So this is actually his 2006 McDonald's All-American card. So he looks the same though, right? <laughs> pretty much. I mean, he got a little more hair, kind of a beard and stuff now, but look pretty much the same. And now we're gonna pull out, this is one of the, the big guns in the collection. So this last sale, almost 30K, signed variation of this. Is this crazy to think that a piece of cardboard featuring pictures of these guys, you know, can sell for that much? 30,000, wow. It's a lot. I mean, let's check up the price right now. So, so eBay's got this brand new uh, whole collection tool where we can load in our entire collection. But one of the best things about eBay and just selling cards in general is the fact that you can just go on here and check out the price guide. So we'll look up 2006 Durant Auto Tops and we'll see what pops up. Perfect. So there's only a few of these in the world, so it's rare, but the best way to kind of track prices if you're getting back into cards is to go on eBay and go to their advanced search and you can just look up sold listings. So we'll see the actual prices these sold for. One of the great things about eBay is just how it's kind of the center of the trading card universe because yep. you're able to use them and this is really what sets the price on all of these cards. I wanna go through a couple other cards. What do you think when you see these two on a card together? Oh, I mean, it's it's iconic. It's legendary. I mean, this is, you know, 1A, 1B, pretty much. I mean, obviously, Kobe emulated MJ's style and, and took a lot from him. You can argue Kobe was more skilled, Mike was more athletic. I mean, obviously, you can't go wrong with either. Who are you choosing in a game if you're playing two on two? It's you and pairing up against somebody and playing against the other player in another one. I'm gonna choose Kobe from just the standpoint of like the fandom. That, that's where I grew up watching, but I understand, you know, the six rings, six and oh. Let's take it back. I wanna take it back to 1986. This isn't Jordan's rookie year, but his rookie card. Do you remember seeing this card uh, as a kid? And just like, I mean, obviously it's worth just a ridiculous amount right now, but, yeah. but the MJ rookie, what's your thoughts? I definitely remember this card um, just in terms of the, the, the image and the, and the capture. That's MJ all day. So you might know this guy <laughs> a little bit. Steve Nash, this is a Topps Chrome rookie card. What are your thoughts on, A, this this card, and uh, what's your impression of, of good old Steve? My uh, first impression of this card is high coach. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Nash, as a, as a player, obviously a ton of respect. Um, but as a Lakers fan, I hated him. You know, the Suns were, were a thorn in our side, so I wasn't in a rush to get a Steve Nash card. Sorry, coach. 
One of the cards that, of course, we've got to talk about is the rookie of another icon in the league, <laughs> LeBron. Yeah. What's, it, what's it like going against LeBron? We talked about KD being the best versatile scorer of all time, and I think, um, you know, LeBron's the best Swiss Army knife. That's LBJ right does. I mean, the LeBron Chrome, if you get some of the refractors and other variations, you're looking at six figures minimum easy, and some of his auto cards are, have sold for millions and millions of dollars. So you had two career paths, and you took the more difficult one. Yeah, of actually clearly, playing basketball actually, instead just, of buying paper, yeah, right? Yeah, it's card. So Spencer, what would you guess LeBron's rookie card? Prime card, 2003 Topps Chrome, PSA 10. So these are called what we're called grades. They're graded based on everything from centering to make sure they're in perfect condition. This is the highest grade a card can get, PSA 10. Relatively common card. It's not numbered, not super, super rare. It's not going to hit those millions, but what do you think the value is in this? 5000 Good guess. Let's look at the most recent sales. We are looking at $21,001. You said it ain't special though. No, this isn't a special one. So if this was special, if this was like the black refractor, the X-fractor, the gold, then you're looking like six figures all day, well, closing in on Man, seven. So, so basically, LeBron should have got paid in his cards the entire time. LeBron would have done better if you look at his contract in card value versus his market cap is higher versus what his salary is. But LeBron said he has a couple in a press conference. Oh, well, see, LeBron's been doing it right. He's always a couple steps ahead. <laughs> always is, right? Yeah. All right, let's get into some of the new blood. What are your thoughts on, like, the league is so exciting right now. You talked about yeah. different eras, but, I mean, Luca. One of his cards sold for $5 million almost earlier huh? this year. If you had to invest in a player right now, a young player, say like oh less than God. three years in the league, if you had to buy a card for the future, from strictly an investment perspective, Spencer is a businessman investing in cards and that. What player would you invest in? I think it's hard to bet against Zion. Jaws up there too. So Zion is your choice? Probably. I mean, it's, it's hard to bet against Zion. Now you said you were into cards, so you were also into not just sports cards, but Pokemon cards. Yeah. Do you remember any big pulls that you got as a kid? What was the best card that you had? I want to say I had like a like a holographic like Charizard or something like that, because I'm like one of the OG like... Damn! You've got to find them, you've got to go log them in eBay system, and then you can actually track your value yeah. and see what they're worth. All right, I'm going to look up on eBay, and the great thing is this is kind of the market, right? Like, these are yeah. sales prices. We pull up just Pokemon in general. You said you got into it early on. Yeah. Sealed Fossil first. First edition, Mint English Pokemon Booster Box. What's that price say? $1.4 million. Yeah, I really spent it. 1.4. All right, That's let's crazy. keep let's keep it going. There's another seven-figure sale. I mean, we're looking at 500 k 350 k for different sets. I gotta, I, gotta go, I gotta go back home. We might have to end this episode a little early. <laughs> it's so cool to see the resurgence of not just sports cards, but Pokemon cards and art cards. And yeah. that's what's so dope. I mean, I took it back. I wanted to pull out one of these Fanimation cards. It's like a classic Jordan comic book card, yeah, which dope. is so cool because one of the things that we just came out with at the National was eBay and myself collaborated. I've been doing these drops with Tops under Project 70 where I take classic baseball cards and remix them with, with music. So Jay-Z yeah. and, and the Blueprint, that's yours. Go for it if you want to keep it. All right, so sure, thank you. Easy, of course. And I've also been doing these like companion, <laughs> all yours. We've been doing these companion cards too. So Blueprint 3 album cover inspired by that individually numbered. And we came out with four different cards at the National inspired by the four major sports. And they're all these really cool art cards. So that's why I wanted to show that off. So this is the most famous card ever, Honus Wagner T206. That's the one that like will sell for millions of dollars every time. So we did it with Wiz Khalifa since it's yeah. Pittsburgh. This one I love. I love the Nas Illmatic album, right? So, uh, yeah. Satchel Page, Illmatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so Spencer, you went into cards a lot as a kid. I know you've been a little busy recently. Yeah. How, how would you consider yourself, like, are you a, 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 you know, a hardcore collector, getting back into it? You know enough to be dangerous, but need to yeah. get a little more intel? Definitely want to learn more. I would say uh, getting back into it, obviously, having collected a little bit as a kid, like, would love to get, get back into it for sure. I don't want to mess anything up. I see these are obviously already in their cases. Yeah. How would I go about opening up like a, a, a new pack? Let's just show you. Let's do it. You ready for this this big moment? Oh yeah, let's do it. eBay's been so kind to for this one to supply us with a safe. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's in there, but I think we should do a pack war where whoever gets the highest value card and we'll look up what the values are on our eBay system gets to keep everything that's in there. You in? Oh yeah, I'm done. Let's, let's go. go. All right, Spencer, so it is time for the funnest part of the show where we get to walk away with something. It's Pack Wars, and eBay has sent over this safe. I don't know what pack is in here, but let's get into it. Yeah, so there's a brand new sealed 
Panini Prism Zion Williamson rookie year, so 2019-2020. So I've got an idea to play this. Usually we go after the highest valued card and that can be the backup, but I think your card might be in here. And if we, whoever pulls your card is the winner of that. You down? Yeah. And if your, your card isn't pulled in here, then whichever one is the highest nice. value. And yeah, we'll split it up and go for it. So then we'll split them all up and see what we can get. So big hits in here. I mean, this is a great rookie class, right? You're talking Zion. You're talking Ja. Big value cards, but we're gonna find yours. That's a real value, right? And there's sure. there's a parallel of yours. There could be a one of one, a one of 300. There's, there's a lot of good ones out here. So let's see what we get. How'd you open that down? That easy. Basically just go to the, the top, rip that right there in the back, and then pull, try pulling down, you get. There we go. So if, if I'm struggling with opening the pack, is it a sign that uh, I'm an amateur collector? You know, it either shows you got a lot of money because you're just buying this cards and slabbed already, or you're getting back into it, but you're good. Now how should I be pulling these cards out of the pack? Just be good, I mean, you're kind of good. Just try to grab them like that. So these are all chrome cards, so you don't want to get your fingerprints all over them. So as long as you do that, you're kind of good. Just try to make sure the corners and the sides and the edges are protected. So let's see what you got. We got a legend, we got Vince Carter. You're hey, the we, legends. We, we might, hey, we might have some action here. I got an AI. So oh, I'm, wow. I'm in the early league. Wow. I got a, a Rui. And it's a rookie card, I yes, think, right? Yeah. So we got Keldon Johnson, rookie, legend, Yao Ming. Okay. Here's a mirrored one behind it. We'll take this down slow and see what it is, so. <laughs> no way, I had no idea. Are you kidding me? So I just won, and not only won with the base, but Parallel, that's crazy. I literally had no idea. I was like, let's do this special one on camera and pull it down slow. How crazy is that, dude? Check out your card. There, there are certain moments that you have, like when you're in the league that are that are really dope and, and having cards and things of yourself, like it is a, it's a pretty cool little sentimental thing. I don't take things like that for granted, so. That's incredible, like, dude. But, How random is that, that we get this? I'm gonna get this signed. Dude, I swear this wasn't. <laughs> you saw it was sealed. Exactly. You saw it was sealed. We hadn't seen the cards. Right, that, that's for sure. Let's right. see what you got. That's crazy. I'm, I'm definitely getting better at this uh, pack opening. Though. Yeah, you're good. Oh, I got I got another legend in this. Uh, Ray Allen. So another another legend. Great player. You're getting all the legends in here. And I, I just got my teammate. Who we got? Ah, Kyrie. Yeah, Kyrie. All right, let's see what we get. I, I don't think I can top what I got already. All right, Justice Winslow. We got a red foil. Wendell Carter Jr. Okay. Let's see what we got here. This is a red parallel. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson. And we still haven't gotten any of the uh, Zion or Ja big rookie. So there could be a big money card in any of these packs that we're opening right now. Really? So. I got a Romeo Langford, Hamadou Diallo. Shout out Hami. Oh, there it is. Signed Eddie Jones. Dude, how perfect is this box for you, right? You like, I'm sure growing up, you used oh, to yeah. watch EJ, sure, right? Man. That's incredible. So that's our auto in the box. It's only right. I mean, we got some great hits in this so far. Lakers, your, your former AD. fan. What's your, what's your thoughts on AD? Oh man, nah, he's, he's great. Derek White, parallel, and base LeBron. Still, still worth some money. So do you think a, a base LeBron would be worth more than a signed Eddie Jones? <sighs> I'd go with the signed Eddie Jones. Signed Eddie Jones. <laughs> right? Oh, I had a good streak of opening packs and I struggled with that. One. <laughs> that's how it goes. Oh, I got a, I got a Luca. Ooh, that Luca still. I mean, that's even though it's a second year, still worth money. I got the B. Beyond Kobe, what other players as a kid did you love, and did, were you hunting for when you were buying cards? You know, I love Magic Johnson, and then also I would say like a Penny Hardaway. Yeah, I love Penny. Right, yeah. the shoes and all those things are crazy. Oh, my young boy, Jalen Hands. Jalen, what's, what's your Jalen like? No, he's just a, a good dude, work really hard. Oh, and dude, it's a, it's a refractor too. Rookie card and refractor. Oh man, can, can I, I get that to him? Yeah. All right, perfect, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, Another teammate and my guy, Jared Allen, a dominant Steph Curry, and Draymond Green. Got another silver in here behind this next card, which is Vince Carter. Let's see okay. who it is. You guys man, get the reaction. All my what is old it? teammates. And bogey. <laughs> there we go. No longer Timberwolf. Andrew Wiggins. And we'll end it with Andre. There we go. One of the best investors out there in the game, right? Yes, sir. Last one. Let's see what you got. Again, it's your last I'm chance to win. I'm winning right now. I'm side uh, or a So this card versus whatever's in there. So at this point, you've got to get a better version of your own card. 
Come on, give me some. We got Wesley Matthews. Shit, my guy Wes. Got an instant impact PJ Washington uh, Jr. Here we go. We've got a dominance Joel Embiid. We got Lou Williams, so. Which means all these cards on the table. I think I get to take away because I pulled yours ironically enough. Yep. What a game, right? The only <laughs> game that you lose because you're, you're beat exactly. by yourself. I guess that's the best person to beat you, right? There you go. We've got a lot of great competitors on this table, a lot of friends, foes, teammates of all these guys. Just on this table, who's been the most difficult to play against? Who's the hardest to play against? The biggest challenge for you? I would say uh, probably probably Kai or Steph. As everybody sees, Kai's got the greatest handles. Ever in step, you have to, you know, basically chase them around 94 feet. So, <laughs> you know, you just gotta make sure you're in shape when it's time to when it's time to play them. And there it is, Card Cloud. I'm DJ Ski Spencer. Thank you so much for spending the time with us, hanging out. Oh, thank you cards. for having me. Are you getting back into card collecting now? I mean, I had fun today, so I, I think I might have to. I did too, and I'm just so excited that you beat yourself. And <laughs> gotta ask you, you, mind signing this man? I got you, man. Let's get into it. Money.